Then the four mutable laws, meaning that you can get these laws right and you can get them wrong. Okay? You can transcend the immutable nature, sorry, the mutable nature of these laws. You can transcend the mutable nature of these laws by understanding them and understanding how they play out in your life. So the law of polarity. The law of polarity means that everything is one thing that is actually expressed into two things. The consciousness that we know as God expressed itself into two things called male and female. Everything that you know that is not male and female separate as separate entities, you know like man and woman, everything is one thing that is made up of two things. Like for instance temperature. Temperature is one thing. It's made up of two things. What are those two things? A positive extreme called hot and a negative extreme called cold. Volume is made up of two things. A positive extreme called loud and a negative extreme called soft. pH is made up of two things. A positive extreme called alkaline and a negative extreme called acid. Are you, are you with me people? Which one came first in the law of polarity? The negative. You got it. Mystically speaking, why is it the why is it the negative? Because sorry. Because it's the feminine. On on a, on a metaphysical level, there is no um, seed required. On this physical level, there is seed required. So male thinks that male gives seed off first. But the truth is that on a metaphysical level, seed is not required. And the female contains life. So it's the female, the negative, that always comes first. We see it in the Eve. The Eve comes before the day. Right? Christmas Eve, Sabbath Eve. In the six days of creation, it spoke about there was evening and then there was morning one day. It spoke about the sacred feminine that came along with life. Created the male. And then there was a union. Right? So, by definition, the law of polarity means that everything has to be dual. That's why we go through hardships first in life. And we start to realize what's important to us, and this is what I'm going to speak about today, which is fulfillment. Okay? So the negative comes first when speaking about negative and positives. Why? Because it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Now, the illusion that comes out of polarity, the illusion is that there are opposites. So if I say to you, what's the opposite of cold? What are you likely to say to me? The opposite is hot. If I say to you, what's the opposite of poor? What are you likely to say to me? Rich. Okay? Whatever it is. But that's not what opposites are. You see, opposites are geographical and require two separate things. So like if I said that the bank is opposite the supermarkets, you can draw a line, so to speak, in the road where the one half ends and the other half begins. Correct? It's, it's, it's geographical. It's positional. But if we look at rich and poor, and I say to you guys, on, a, on an axis of where the negative extreme is poor and the positive extreme is rich where would where would a hundred million rand be on this on this axis would it be on the poor end or would it be on the rich end Relative. yeah but I'm saying where would it be well, in, the center, somewhere. In, in the center somewhere middle in somewhere but you'd think that what, a hundred million rand, ten million dollars, would be on the wealthy extreme, right? It would be on the wealthy side. Depending on how rich you are, it would be more towards the middle, more towards the end. But what happens if you're a dollar billionaire? What happens if you're a dollar billionaire and all you've got left in your bank now is ten million dollars? Where is that on this axis? Is it on the wealthy end or is it on the poor end? Exactly. So, this is the illusion of the law of polarity 
which brings about a mistake or a misunderstanding because people don't really know what the law of attraction is, that when people try and visualize following the law of attraction gurus that are all over the internet and whatever, they don't get it right. And people say like how like the law of attraction doesn't work. And it's exactly because of this, because of this illusion of polarity and duality. Okay? Because these two extremes, whatever they are in your life, when you look at things as the law of polarity, where things become two, two so-called opposite things, when they're extra, in, in fact extreme polarities of the same thing, when you reject the one, you reject the other as well. And I'll explain what I mean. I'll explain what I mean. If, let's say, you are battling financially. So, right now, being poor or being broke is not fun for you. And you'd rather have the polar extreme of this, which is being abundant or wealthy. Okay? And if being broke is something that you battle with, then being broke is not going to be okay with you. Because you've probably got a lot of potential and a lot of ability. Same thing as if, let's say, your pattern or your blockage is in relationships and you're not in a relationship, you'd rather have the polar extreme of this scenario, which is being in a loving relationship. But right now you're not. And it's so like not okay for you because you're a nice person, you're good looking, you earn okay. What's the problem? Why can't I have a relationship? And so being alone is not okay. It's the same thing with a person's health, weight, vibrancy, whatever it is about them. Wherever your blockage is, what it is that you want is the so-called opposite of it. And while you don't have it, whatever it is, there's the sense of it's not okay until I have that. All right? So far, so good? Okay. Let me explain this in a metaphor. Let's imagine that I had, uh, you had a friend. His name was uh, Paul and his surname was Larity. Okay? Mr. Paul Larity. But this guy, Paul has done everything for you in his life, in your life. He has saved your life a few times. He has bailed you out of prison. He's given you money to start a business multiple times. He's always been there for you. So there's no question in your life that this person is one of your closest friends and like, there's just no question in your life. But then this guy has a bit of a, a crisis or plick or whatever in his life and he goes a little bit uh, wahoo and he decides to get a really vulgar tattoo on his arm but really 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 vulgar something like pornographic just really disgusting and it was on his forearm and he wouldn't wear sleeves okay and now you're having this big uh, banquet or this big dinner i don't know some sort of celebration a wedding whatever it is and uh you want to invite your best friend and you know that he's not going to come with He's not going to come with a, with a long sleeve. He's going to come with, a, with his arms bare and everyone's going to see his tattoo. So I'll tell you what you can't do. You can't say to him, come but leave your tattoo at home. Right? So you've got two choices. You either reject the tattoo or you accept all of him. Does that make sense? Because if you reject the tattoo, you're not just rejecting the tattoo. You're rejecting all of him because the tattoo is not separate from all of him. So in the, according to this law of polarity, whatever it is that you want, that you don't have, that you really feel that you should have, and life is sort of not okay, and you don't have your peace until you've got what you want. If it's being broke and you, you just you can't take it anymore, and it's like it's not okay, and then you're, you're rejecting, that's your tattoo. If being alone is not what you want and it's not okay for you, and you're rejecting that, then that's your tattoo. If it's health, weight, whatever it is, whatever reason you think that life is not okay now and because of a certain situation, and when I have this situation rectified in my own mind, that's when everything's going to be okay. You're caught in the illusion. You're caught in the illusion. If you want the law of attraction to work, you have to be okay regardless of anything. 
You have to be okay with being broke. You have to be okay with being alone. You have to be okay with being overweight, underweight. Whatever it is that you're not okay with, whatever your logical reason for not accepting yourself because you honestly believe that like life should be, would be, could be, will be better if you don't have this scenario and you want the, the polar extreme of it, you're caught in the illusion and you're not going to manifest that which you want. If you want to really manifest something, you have to be detached from it. And what that means is, I'm okay with myself and the world, whether I get that or not. That's it. So this is the law of polarity and this is what people get wrong in, this, in the illusion. Because if, if you reject one part of the axis, then you reject all of it and you cannot progress along it. Does that make sense? You get stuck in wherever you are. Okay?